Hello, welcome to my Saturday night vlog. <clears throat> so, first of all, I'd like to say is if you can get your hands on these, please do, because you will not regret it. Um, if you've ever had Takis, these, I was not expecting uh, them to be anything special. I, if anything, I would say I would expect Takis to be, like, better. But, these are, I just try better than shit. So, let's prep a video. Uh, braised chicken thighs. Please check that out. Also, of course, bone shaker. One of my beers is toy. Uh, braised chicken thighs with cabbage and bacon. Hot new video that I put up, uh, just put up. I think you'll love it. Um, and then there's a few other vlogs from this week that you can check out, please. <clears throat> um, what did I do today? Um, woke up and went over to the bakery across the street. We like to get, um, there's a really nice bakery that does nice croissants. And uh, a baguette, I go, I get a couple croissants, I get a baguette, and uh, Americano. And sometimes they have some other stuff too. But the problem is, if you don't get there early enough, they sell out their croissants pretty early. Like sometimes even at noon, sometimes at one. So I got over there by one uh, today, and they were sold out croissants. So I got a, a sausage roll and a chocolate chip cookie, and those are good too. And a baguette that was beautiful. I had it with some cream cheese. And then we had some of the leftover um, cabbage and bacon stuff. Um, so put that on to uh, <clears throat> the bread and ate that uh, with some of the bread. Um, then we went to um, another bakery <laughs> called uh, Oh My God to get some, um, some pop. They make like in-house pop tarts, except they're good. Apparently, I've never had one myself, but we were getting them for a, a birthday present for someone. So we went, and that was a little bit of a, like a 15, 20 minute walk. We did that, it, was, it started drizzling a little bit. Um, but it was nice, it was very humid, so my like my classic like, black pants were all sticky and sweaty. Um, <clears throat> what have I been watching recently? Uh, well, today we watched some Ryland Adams. Um, a little bit of <clears throat> Report of the Week. Uh, sort of like him. I, I like him, but you know, he's a little, kind of a lot. He's very dry, which is, I like. That's totally my type of humor. Um, my favorite, but you know, he is kind of long-winded and stuff. I do want to watch the, uh, he just put out a new uh, Day in My Life 2018 Rob video, and I do want to, uh, I do want to uh, check that out. Oh, and uh, of course yesterday they refreshed the MacBook Pro, and finally added 32 gigabytes of RAM as an option, uh, of course, I already have this guy, which is a 2017, um, <clears throat> 2017, the, um, it was the high-end pre-configured model, uh, but I got it on Amazon. Somehow, there was one third-party seller on Amazon that was selling the high-end pre-configured model 
for like $500 less than Apple. And most of the other people on Amazon were signing for like the same price as Apple or like $100 less. So somehow, it's not available anymore, but somehow I got that. But one of the things I always wanted, because my last fucking MacBook Pro from 2012, the original 2012 Retina machine, had 16 gigabytes of RAM as well, and I would always run out of memory. And uh, same with this, sometimes, you know, if I have too many things open with too many tabs open, you know, my memory pressure will start getting a little, a little red. And so I, I like, I mean, of course, um, the, it's like five, $480 to upgrade it to 32 gigabytes of memory, but like, wow. Right, of course, I've only had this for like eight months, six months, eight months. I guess that's not really only. It's fairly long, I guess. But uh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was inevitably going to happen because everyone's freaking out about how there's only 16 gigs of RAM available in a pro machine, and that's not very pro, which, which I agree. And then the other things they did, um, graphics card is exactly the fucking same. Um, all they did was they set the uh, 4 gigabyte 560 as the default version on the 15 inch pros, uh, which is what I have anyway. Um, they have an i9 6 core now, and you can get the two different versions. You can get up to a 4 terabyte SSD, but the 4 terabyte SSD is like $3,900 more than the. 512 base one. <clears throat> so, Bone Shaker, hey guys, please sponsor my video. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that the SSDs are still insane with Apple, but of course, you can't change them now, so you're stuck with whatever you get. And then apparently they've also sort of improved the keyboards. Uh, there's a new generation of the of the low profile uh, butterfly key, whatever the fuck, keyboard that's apparently quieter to type on. Which I don't mind that. I actually like. I actually don't like. People hate this keyboard. Honestly, I like it because. A, it looks very uh, beautiful because of the wider keys and the shorter keys, um, it just looks very, very sleek. And on the older, like, you know, 2012, like all of the older machines, the keys, the bottom of the keys would stick up past the, <clears throat> the actual unibody enclosure so you would get light leak from the LEDs that are lighting up the keys, but you would get light leak from underneath the sides of the keys. Now on these new ones, you, uh, and all, should I pick up the camp? Yeah, sure, whatever. So on these machines, the keys, are very nice and low profile and beautiful looking in my opinion and so you don't get any light leak really very little with the backlight and so overall like I think the keyboard is uh, beautiful and stunning and then of course you you get the sound of it And the people complain that they're loud, but I don't uh, care. I'm a, I'm actually a big, <clears throat> I'm a big um, like blue switch mechanical guy. I like the blue switch mechanical keyboard. So I don't mind at all. I think the camera might be a little low.
But then, of course, the, the real big problem with these is that apparently uh, dirt and like crumbs, if they do get under, they're so low profile that uh, it breaks the whole, it, it like breaks the key and you can't pop them out because uh, it'll break the whole keyboard. And there's actually like a class action lawsuit against Apple right now about these keyboards. So no one has actually, like they say that it's a second gen of this keyboard, but they don't say whether they are like any less prone to breaking. Um, so anyway, um, I think it's nice that they refresh them. Like, of course, I'm not going to go uh, and get a new computer or anything. Like, I just, I'm not even, you know, just got this, like, this is a 2017 uh, model, so I'm, I'm going to be keeping this for a long time. <clears throat> and overall, the machine is like, I can't complain too much. I think the RAM is really the only thing that actually holds it back from being a like a truly insane machine. Like the fucking um, the SSD speeds are insane. You know they claim they're 3,100 megabytes read and write. Realistically, it's more like uh, 28 or 2,900 read and like a little bit less than that, right? That's still insane. The speed is for the SSD, so that's great. The processor is, is great, you know, can't really complain. I've got the the 2.9 gigahertz that boosts, uh, turbo boosts to like 3.9 or whatever. The processor is great, no problem there. I mean, it could always encode videos faster. Uh, when I encode 4K videos, it takes a, a, a lot of time. Or, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say a lot of time, it takes some time. Uh, but all, all processors take some time to process video. Um, pro video processing can always be faster, or encoding, whatever. Um, the graphics are fine. I, it's not like I'm playing video I have a whole separate computer for video games. So it's not like I'm uh, playing video games on here, but it's got a 4 gigabyte uh, uh, memory on the graphics, read on Pro 560 with 4 gigabytes dedicated memory on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall the machine's great. Is it worth the price? Uh, I don't know. It's a little pricey. Definitely. I, I even... Even uh, after getting the like five hundred dollar uh, discount, it's still crazy. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't have any plans for going out uh, to parties uh, this week, and uh, unfortunately, but uh, it's fine. I'll save some money. Um. There are a couple really, really good parties coming up that I'm very, very excited about. Um, and of course, as usual, I have all this party footage, but I, I still haven't put any of it together into videos. Um, I have stuff from from the Boiler Room. The Boiler Room did some shows in Toronto uh, that I went to, and I have a lot of videos from that. Um, I have, like, literally almost every single weekend, uh, I go to uh, some sort of uh, good techno show, and I always take some sort of videos. Some show sure they take way more videos than others. The problem is you always want to balance having, like, having a good time and just, like, not doing pictures or videos at all versus uh, capturing it so that you can make a cool video out of it and review that video later. So I always kind of, and there's actually some part, like we went to one, or a couple, where they actually put a sticker over top of your camera uh, when you go in because there's a no video and photo policy and so they actually stick a, stick a sticker over your camera, your phone camera on the way in. But anyways, I know I've been talking about editing. Um, uh, <clears throat> Part, like techno party uh, videos forever, 
and uh, but I will, and uh, I might even play some video games tonight and upload uh, that. I might play Doki Doki and kind of continue that and hopefully like maybe plow through it. I don't. I think it's probably uh, like a pretty. I think like I know PewDiePie has like a six part series. And I think they're all like an hour. So I've only. I'm only. Oh, well, I'm two hours into it. And the thing about the, that Doki Doki game is that like it's not like a free form uh, open world game or even like any other type of action game where you can sort of be slow at it and take way longer to finish it than other people do it. I mean, it's literally just dialogue and you just click through the dialogue. Uh, you know, you can click through, I was clicking through it really fast when I was playing it. And so I think that you can just plow your way through that game really fast. I don't see why, any reason why you couldn't. So it should be pretty, a similar pace for everyone unless you like sit there and don't answer the dialogue, text dialogue questions. Uh, so, that, I might play that, or I might play something else. I have like a ton of games. I want to play Vampire, which I don't have yet, but I want to get it. I want to play, do a Resident Evil 7 video. I also have like Watch Dogs 2, uh, Dishonored 2, I have Prey, I have, I have, um, ne uh, fuck, I forgot how to say it. Uh, something automatica, you know, like near N E I R automatica or something. I, I want to say. N I E R automatica. I have that. I have. I have so many games that I've almost, like I almost never played. But most of them I do get on sale at least. Okay. I think that's enough. Uh, thanks for joining me. And I hope you have a great, fun Saturday night. Whatever you're doing.